Hiya lovely, so we're back, we're here at Amazing Grace here on Bolton Street in Blackpool. It's been ages since we've been down here, so we're going to go in, we're going to show you everything that's going on here, and we're also going to get a little interview with the amazing Mark Butcher. Let's go. Let's go through. You all right? Everyone's working hard here today, and I'm just walking around with my camera. Sounds about right, doesn't it, for Katie? Look at all this. All uh, donations. The kindness of the community is amazing because we are going down into the free food shop. So look at this, the uh, the free food shop. Please bring your own carrier bags. They have sleeping bags, dog food, baby food, toothbrushes, razors, biscuits. So if you can donate items here, anything is going to be appreciated. As, as long as it's obviously long life, tins and packets. I know cereal and long life milk are a, a very popular one. Hence why you can see that shelf is empty. It's usually over there. But they give out a few thousand food items a week here. So they get all this whole shop stocked up and then let everybody in and then it's gone. So they even have electrical items. This wasn't here the last time I came. So an electrical item will be classed as five items. Please only take it if it's needed. And then you use five items from your shop. I think it was something like 15 items that you get. Don't quote me as the exact number, but it's roughly around that amount. So what's that? I think that's a bread bin, air dryer. Fantastic, isn't it? You know, this place is an absolute lifeline, isn't it, to the community? So if you do need help, get yourself down here to Amazing Grace. The, the family that run it and the team of people that work here, do not judge in the slightest. They are so full of love. You can get the help you need. So everyone gets one one item per per thing. So if you came to get pasta, you'd, you'd get one so that everybody has access. You've got tea bags there, look. And of course, if you can donate, you know, give them a ring. They're on Facebook. Give them a ring and then you can arrange to drop off. I know some people get Asda and Tesco, you know, the home deliveries that you get. And then they send it to Amazing Grace. But... Just check with them to arrange the time to, to get that sent. What a fantastic place, eh? I like that. CCTV and God is watching you. Do not be dishonest. New Tuesday hours, 6 till 7.30pm. That started in September. How could anybody steal? That's awful, isn't it? So we're just here in the uh, dining hall and look at this lot. Fantastic. Look at that pizza oven there. Let's see if we can just pop a light on a minute. Oh, there we go. Look at that. If you haven't tried one of the pizzas here at Pizza Grazy, you need to come down. Um, it's just the fact that it's done in there. It tastes miles better. And also by coming to Pizza Grazy, you're buying food and then money is getting ploughed back into the soup kitchen. So it's a fantastic place to support isn't it this is nice lots and more donations there it's it's a really cozy place to come and eat me and the kids have eaten here before and it's lovely you feel very relaxed here look at that look nice big kitchens there look oh i didn't notice them before look at all the little mirrors and the flowers oh <laughs> they are in the middle of um building upstairs so we're going to nip up there and we're going to try and catch mark and see what it is that they're up to oh wow hello, hello. you're right up there you're right up there yeah we've come to have a nosy and see what you're up to you're right there oh, press. <laughs> not surprised i was uh, a bit nervous watching you climbing down that yeah i'm not really big, i'm not really big on that actually okay no <laughs> For the best and you time. choose to go up there. Well, you know, you've got to overcome your fears, haven't you? Yeah, good one, I guess. You've uh, got to overcome your fears. 
So, um, what exactly are you doing here anyway? So, we're creating um, a church hall, if you like, a community hall, uh, for want of a better word. So, it'll be a place where people can come. We're going to have dance classes on. Uh, we're going to have a church on a Sunday, a worship church on a Sunday night. We're going to have a young people service. We're going to just try and make it open and accessible to everybody in the community. We've got a lift coming, a disabled toilet. So, you know, but saving the building as well has been quite a thing because it's a wonderful building. As you know, downstairs we've got the soup kitchen yeah. and the pizza shop and the food shop. But this is almost like the, the finish to the building, to the project. Yeah. Once this is complete, you'll have a, a full-blown ministry that, you know, does everything it says on the tin and, and more. So you say about church, what about people that are not believers? Would they still be welcome of course into? They would. Anybody? So we've got um, we've got this we've got this ethos at Amazing Grace that we just to support everybody. We don't ask any questions. It doesn't matter whether you're a Muslim, a Hindu, a Christian. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. You'll be welcome in oh. this place, and you will be downstairs as well. So we are an all-inclusive charity. And we're not going to exclude anybody. That's great. It's that you guys, you do so much for the community. I don't think there's any more you can do after finishing this. You've well, smashed there, it. There's always more to do. And I think, for me, it's about being there, helping people that need assistance at the right time. So we all go through different crises, different times, don't we? Yeah. And sometimes you come out the other side and you can get back to where you was before, if not better. Definitely. And what we try to do is just help people to get back to where they was rather than you know hand out it's a hand up it sounds cliche but that that's what it is it's a hand up so uh, what about help from the community what help do you currently need let, let the people well know. Uh, we need laborers plasterers plumbers uh, joiners um, roofers electricians tilers i mean i could go on <laughs> uh, but you know Men of all means, we want men and women that can come and just assist us to make this happen. Look, we've got rubbish to move, we've got, we've got building to, to fix, and we've always got things that are changing and happening. There's always things to do. I mean, you know, you could pick a brush up in here now, yeah. couldn't you? And just, it's, there's so much to do. Make um, a cup of tea. Make, that's it, make a cup of tea. So we're not going to refuse anybody, but at this time, what we're asking is if we could have the skilled men really that we need to get up in the rafters and to do the joinery work and the plastering work and to put the tiles on the walls and to to put the dry line isn't it you know it's quite tricky so you've got to have people who know what they're doing at the same time as people who don't yeah you need skilled and yeah skilled so but yeah. it's a you know it's going to be a wonderful place for everybody to come it's going to be a place where people can get married and people can have funerals and christenings and family afternoons and dinner dances we're going to include everybody i mean we want you know we want to use this as a all inclusive building where it can be multifunctional so if you uh, can help or if you've got food donations anything like that the phone number is oh the phone there. number so the email address is amazingbaseblackpool at gmail.com all right so email instead if you can and then we can assist it better and, f and we can pass that on to the right people relevant people but food donations are always well received at amazing grace so yeah they can send as do all tesco's yeah, they can. as well we get deliveries deliveries from amazon and different people all sorts of you know so you can put a food order in with uh, with with a you know asda and send it us that's that happens quite a lot praise god we get a lot of people helping us i mean we're autonomous so we don't have any help of anybody from the council we do it all ourselves. We're self-supporting through our own contributions at Amazing Grace, which I think is wonderful. Have you got like a PayPal link or anything like that? We have. People can donate we to? have. And if you go on the website, um, Amazing Grace website, which is amazinggrace.org, and um, you'll see on there is a payment link where you can donate to um, PayPal. And I will add that link, of course, to the video description. So, guys, isn't it a fantastic place? I love it here. It's been so long, hasn't oh, it? Thanks for coming, anyway. And yeah. good to see you as well, Mr. Cameraman Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, please share this out there. And if you can donate, even if it's a fiver, you know, it is going to make a difference. So, please, do your best if you can. And thanks for all your help in the past, for everybody that's helped. Thank you. Right, we're just going back down the uh, stairs here because I missed something that they've added since I was here last time. 
Let's go have a nose, eh? Follow that man, Mark. Isn't this a great place, though? So. Oh, this is all different. Hey, Rach. Oh, I've got the keys. Oh, right. Hello. Hi. What, what have you got here? <laughs> um, so, we're just going through a load of stuff that we've been donated. And we're making up gift bags um, for the women for Christmas. Oh. So we're just trying to eliminate some boxes because we've got that much stuff that we've got to bring in. So, yeah, that's the oh, plan anyway. How lovely is that? Yeah, so the, I'm trying to just get the women sorted out and then it's not a big rush then come, come Christmas. And then if I get anything else, I can just add to it, can I? So who donated all this? Is it one company or...? Uh, no, so Nick Buckle uh, from Manchester, he actually brought us a massive donation from like uh, L'Oreal, Maybelline, that sort of stuff. So he brought us like <coughs> creams. There's all sorts like some really good face creams and things like that. Oh. So yeah, we could put a nice little gift set together for a woman. It's really nice, that. I love to yeah. see kindness. You know, I don't know how difference. far it's going to stretch, but I'll stretch it as far as I can. So I'm just, yeah, be nice, won't it? But yeah, lots of people are going to appreciate that. You know, there's, these, these are expensive things, so a lot of people wouldn't necessarily be able to, no. you know, afford things like this. So to get a gift like that, it's lovely. So do you just always use this as a donation room or is it something else? Or? No, so because we've been having some work done in different rooms, we've had to sort of shimmy everything round. So at the moment, we're, uh, we're just using this as a bit of a storage room. It is genuinely down as a computer room. Um, so in the new year, once everything's all the repairs and bits and pieces have been done, we'll be able to uh, open it back up so people can come in, do any job searches they need to do, things like that. Ah, that's good, because you see are quite strict, aren't they? I think some of them have to do so many searches a day. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, and yeah. if they don't have internet, no. what are they going to do? And, and I think it's just getting more and more expensive, isn't it? So people are struggling to get access. So, you know, it's also if we have people who uh, haven't got mobiles and they need to contact the family, but they know they're on Facebook, whatever, so they can, yeah. you know, they can use the system for that. Um, but, yeah, it's... So you really have your work cut out, and I guess that, you know, if people want to volunteer, they could get in touch. Yeah, um, Tuesday is the most popular day that we need volunteers for, because um, obviously we've got a free food shop open as well as upstairs. Um, and generally, a lot of people as well, if they can't make it down here for a Tuesday, we're asking anyone that's available that can set up collection points for food items, gift items, anything really, so that they can do their own little bit, we can arrange to get it collected or dropped off if need be. Um, and then obviously they're still supporting us, but not having to be so hands-on. But that is a massive help for us anyway. If I, if I got the choice between somebody coming to volunteer and collecting food for us, yeah. I'd go for the food all day long. Fantastic. Just because we're going through so much and we can't keep up with it really. Yeah, so if anyone out there can, you know, use your house as a drop-off point. Please get in touch with Abby. Um, I'll put the email address and contact details yeah, in the uh, in the post but every bit helps doesn't it of course it does thank you nice to see you abby and you